what is going on guys um today i just wanted to uh start the channel off by taking time to um talk about aaron jones and the running back situation in green bay which i think is uh something that a lot of packers fans are talking about so let's get started um so obviously there has been a lot of talk about uh will aaron jones be back and uh will the packers be able to pay him and um in a perfect world i mean aaron jones is definitely my favorite running back out of the three and i love all three of them aj jamal and aaron but they're all three very different running backs no doubt you know like you see aaron jones breaking off these 60 yard runs and you don't see you don't see quite the same thing from AJ or Jamal, but you know AJ's like he's like Eddie Lacy with uh, with muscle, and then Jamal is obviously a great back as well. So you got a little of all three, but um, the definite verdict is that all three of them definitely will be back next year. And what I've heard is uh, we definitely have AJ Dillon back probably, but then it's either Jamal or Aaron, and that's if he can even sign one of them. So in that case, I would definitely prefer to um, sign Aaron because I just really love Aaron Jones' game. And I've always, I feel like Aaron Jones is top 10 back in the league. You know what he does in the rushing game and the passing game. And I mean, last year he was, he was tied for first in the NFL with touchdowns at 19 with Derrick Henry. There has been talks of Aaron Rodgers wanting a new contract, and I've heard that uh, in a way that would benefit both parties, both the Packers organization and Aaron Rodgers. And like to, they need to free up a lot of cap space this year, and apparently um, the cap the cap hit is supposed to be like twenty million less than it was last year, which is a big dive. So, it just seems very unlikely that the Packers are going to be able to pay someone like Aaron Jones. But, there was uh, an article that recently came out saying that the Packers offered Aaron Jones top five running back money. Top five in the league. And I was surprised to hear that. And then, uh, also surprised to see that Aaron Jones didn't take it because it was... Uh, there wasn't a lot of guaranteed money in there, so I guess that's a big thing because you look at the other running backs in that top five, like Derrick Henry, Dalvin Cook, Joe Mixon, a couple of other guys, and they're all getting a lot of guaranteed money. So I guess I understand where he's coming from, but all in all, I'd love to have Aaron Jones back next year. We can make another run at this thing, you know? And I mean, I feel like the trio of Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Jones, and Devontae is as good as any quarterback, running back, wide receiver trio in the league. And I mean, I just feel like if we don't see Aaron Jones in the green and gold next year, that we're not going to see those explosive, like 60 yard runs, you know. Uh, but Jamal or AJ, or both, are still very good running backs to have on this team. And I think that, I do think that Aaron Jones is like the best running back I've ever seen for the pack. We've always, and people say running backs are a dime a dozen, but that may be true, may not be true. But I just think that, I mean, looking at uh, James Starks back in 2010, to Eddie Lacy, to Ty Montgomery, to, um, is that after Tom Montgomery is Aaron Jones and this trio. But I just think that Aaron Jones is like a rare back. I heard he's like great for Green Bay. So we'll see what happens. I would love to have Aaron Jones return to the pack next year. If not, I, do I think we can still make another shot at a conference championship, potential Super Bowl, as long as Aaron's still here, Aaron Rodgers? Yes, but um, hope for the best, right? So that's going to do it for this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed um, my discussion on Aaron Jones and his situation in Green Bay, and we'll see what happens in free agency this year. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to 
like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.